Hey, welcome back. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and integrate Vuex and ViewRouter into our application. So let's go ahead and install Vuex and ViewRouter into our dev dependencies. So missed out an X there. So Vuex and dash ViewRouter. Okay, so once that has installed, again, I'm just going to go into my package.json and make sure that Vuex and ViewRouter are here. And they are good. Let me go ahead and clear this. Let's run our application. So .NET run. Okay, so let's refresh this. There is our blog. Nice. Let's go into view app. I'm going to open up main.js. And because I'm not concerned with separating out with the Vuex and view router from main.js, because the size of the application is relatively small. So that part of uh, separation is negligible. So Let's go ahead and say import UX from uh, UX, and we're also going to import view router from here. So view router from view router. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and add them to our view. So view use UX, and we're going to copy this and do the same for view router. Nice. So let's go ahead and create our store first. So var store equals UX or rather starting with big view, UX dot store. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, see what we actually need to create. So if we go into app dot view and we look at the state that we need, so blogs and selected blog, I'm going to go ahead, cut that out and create a state property or rather attribute and paste that into here. So now this is basically the global state of my application. So I will need some mutations to edit this state. And the next thing I will need are some actions to basically do a synchronous calls with Axios. So I will actually need to grab Axios for this and import it into this file as well. And the next thing I will do is I will just Grab, uh, let's grab this created, uh, the Axios call in created first. And what we're actually doing in that is we are loading blogs. So let's say load uh, blogs. And the only thing I will need here is my commit and the rest I can pass. And instead of um, assigning it to blogs straight away, what I will need to do is I will need to call commit. I will need to call some kind of a uh, method name and then I'll just pass in my data here. So this method name is just going to be save blogs. Okay. I will go ahead and create that here. I'll need my state and I will need my blogs. So then I can say state dot blogs equals blogs. And the next thing I will need is load blog. So I'll just be loading one blog. And for this, I will need an extra, extra ID, so the blog ID, so I know what I'm loading. I will go ahead into here and copy this call now. And I can just paste it into here. I can then paste this here, but I will change it to save blog. And the rest can, the rest can stay the same. So let's go ahead and copy this, paste this, and delete the S on the end, and then change this blog to selected blog like this. And one more thing, when we're going to be exiting the page, we want to be able to clear this blog. So I'm just going to go ahead and say clear blog state. And I'll just say state uh, selected blog equals null. Okay, so this is pretty much it for the store functionality. I will now just go ahead and add the store to my view application. And now we can worry about routes. So uh, I'm going to actually create the pages first. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder called pages. And then here I will create a main.view. So the main.view page is going to be displaying this page we're seeing right here. So the actual blog. So let's go ahead and scaffold this. Uh, I will take, I will go to the app uh, page and I will only need the, these cards uh, for which I'm iterating. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go into my main, I'm going to create a div container because basically 
the iteratable cannot be contained as the root in the template. I think this is getting fixed in view three. I'm not sure. Uh, don't hold me to that. So for now, I'm just creating a container. And the next things I will need is the blogs and to take care of this navigation. So how do we get the blogs? Well, we can go ahead and say the computed properties will we will need to grab map state and we can just go ahead and specify as one of the parameters blogs all right and that should be enough so when we say map state we grab this state here and we grab the blogs property here and we're basically just assigning it to a computed variable so we will be able to access it like that to our store directly. Okay, so next thing we want to uh, deal with the load blog uh, event. And actually this will change to a, a router link. So we will actually handle this somewhere else. So we don't actually need to load blog here. Another thing that I would like to do here is still when this is created, I want to call this store uh, dispatch. So when the blog initially loads, I want to go ahead and load these blogs that I'm going to display. So load blogs. All right. So I think that's okay for the main view. If again, if we have any problems, I'm just going to go ahead and fix them when I see this run. Uh, I don't, I, yeah, I no longer need this div here. Next thing I want to do is take care of a singular post. So let's go ahead and create a new file and I'll call it post.view. And here again, I will scaffold it. And let's go ahead and grab this post. And you can see this button here where we are going back. I'm going to actually grab that as well. So paste this here. I will need to, need to remove the VLs because we no longer have an if. Uh, and the first thing, I want to grab the selected post. So we will do the same thing. Uh, I'll grab map state here. I actually imported it for me, so let's go ahead and go into our computer properties. We'll say map state, and in here I will say selected blog, and that's the only thing I think I need to grab. Yep, yeah, uh, sounds good to me. And then I will map actions. So when I essentially go into this uh, post. That's when I want to start loading. So let's say when we're mounted or let's keep it the same. Let's say created. Okay. Uh, there is going to be a problem with this when we do the server side rendering, but for now, uh, let's keep it here. Let's uh, stay consistent. Uh, so, all right. Talking has sidetracked me. So let's uh, go methods, methods. Yep. Spelled correctly and map actions. So this is literally the same. Um, and again, we're going to map load blog. So when we navigate to this page, we want to load the blog. So load blog. And we are going to be calling this here. So this dot load blog. We'll need to pass the ID. So this uh, dot router, and uh, not router, rather, route uh, params ID. OK, so I'm going to be passing the ID in the route. Uh, next thing I want is the clear. So let me go into my main JS and the clear blog is actually a mutation. So and not in here, but rather here, I can actually say this and let's use the destructuring here and let's say clear blog. And here I'll just call this store commit clear block okay uh will we need to press this button actually i have a better idea because we have a, we're going to be navigating from the page i will leave this part out for now and uh, let's keep this as it was so like this nice and neat so when we navigate to this page, we're going to load a blog and we're just going to display it. Uh, we can do a VF here. So because there is going to be a delay with it loading, uh, we can also say div v else. 
loading blog. Put a cool loader here if you want, but I'm just gonna keep it like that. Uh, looks good to me. I'm gonna close that. Um, I will do this part after, but let's go ahead back into our main.js and let's create our router. So var router equals new view router. Let's pass some, pass some options into here. First, I'm just gonna say mode history. So again, if you don't know anything about Vuex or view router, watch my view series. I go in depth about all of this. Next thing, we will need some routes. This is going to be an array. And the first object of path is just going to be a root. And the component for this is going to be my main component. So I will need to go up here and import these components. So import statement. Um, I will go into pages and grab my main.view. I will need to remove the destructuring and just put main into here. I'll copy it and grab my post as well. Okay. So I have my main page and my post. Uh, I'm going to copy this again. And right here, I will just supply the ID. I'll put the post here. So this is going to be the main page. This is going to be the post. Let's go ahead and add this to our application. And uh, now we will actually, if we refresh our application here, nothing gets displayed. And because the mega block doesn't get displayed either, I am assuming there was some kind of an error. So let's go ahead and check this out first. Console, Vuex store must be called with the new operator. So I'm going to go up here. I have to say new. Okay, let's give this a refresh. So the mega blog is here. Uh, nice. I haven't saved my view app. Okay. And here it is. So we have no posts. How do we display our main page? Well, that is quite simple. All we have to do is add our view or it's not view router, router view. And the closing tag. Okay. And there they are. So now we just have to add the navigation. So if I'm clicking on them, nothing is happening. Uh, let me remove the space. I'm going to go into main.view and I will need to turn this into a router link. So this is how I'm basically going to be accessing uh, navigation to the router. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say two. And inside of these two double quotes, I'm going to put backticks. And what I will need to do is basically say slash and supply the ID for the blog. So blog ID, like so. So now I will, if I basically click on it, it will now change the route and navigate me to there. One thing uh, I noticed, everything looks a little bit messed up here. So not in main, but in app.view. And that is because links do not ha are, are basically, I'm not sure which exactly display type it is, but we can set it to blog and there it is. Uh, we can say, uh, text black, uh, or not text black, color black, and uh, text uh, underline or decoration. Yep, and uh, none. So, all right, and it's back to looking good. So now this I'm done reading button. So what I want to do is actually use the view router to go back to the main page. Okay, so let's grab the post. And then here, again, this is going to be a router link. I will need to fix the closing tag here. And uh, here, what I will need to do is say two equals slash, and that will be okay. So yeah, nice navigation. So one thing you can see here, if uh, I navigate between the two, the previous post isn't cleared yet. So this is where I want to apply that clear function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a router hook. So before route leave. So I think it's two from next. And uh, what I'm going to call is this store. And I will need to commit. And I will just say clear blog. And then just go to the next route. So if I'm pressing done, you can see it now twitches a little bit. So there is no previous post. It is displaying the loading sign. So it lo it's loading the new post in. Okay. So that's working fine now. Um, 
let's see does the, i think does it recognize okay so there's another problem problem here uh basically if you refresh the page on when you're on a blog post it doesn't give you that blog post so uh it just basically says i don't know what this is right but we can navigate there no problem and the reason for this is before we hit hit our spot we have to go through the mvc middleware and basically the default routing with the mvc right here uh, doesn't understand that we have a spa so we will have to actually configure this ourselves so let's go ahead and stop the application uh, i will say use mvc i will pass some um, or let's say router and let's grab our router and uh, map uh, fallback spa fallback route i'm gonna give this a name of um, um let's just say spa fallback let me get rid of this guy okay and then we need to pass the routing convention so let me remove that uh so the controller is going to be a home controller and the action is going to be index okay so that's good and the next thing we just want to specify Map route um, name is going to be uh, default. Let me say bigger. Yeah, I don't think that might default. And uh, the template is going to be controller equals home uh, slash action equals index and uh, slash ID. That's going to be question mark, so it's optional. Uh, here, I'll just quickly zoom in in case you guys need to pause the video and uh, look at what this route looks like. Uh, that's actually, I'll drop this to a new line. I don't think it helps my screen so small. Uh, right, so I think that should sort it. So let's stop the application here, CLS, and dot that right again. Okay, so now if we're on a post, let's give this a refresh, and you can see that it has no problem finding this post. Uh, if we go to the first one, yep, no problem. Let's check the blog admin, so we can still go to our blog admin, and we can. Okay, nice. Uh, so let me go ahead and stop my application, because this will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, turn the notifications on. I don't turn my notifications on, but if you uh, you know, if you want, do it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any requests, you can also leave them in the comments. And as always, see you in my next episode.